All right, welcome. I'm here with one of my best friends on YouTube, Brucifer, the king of nerds. I'm here with the king, and I'm the madman of MME. Are you really um, mad? I'm not. I'm really not mad anymore. You know, after I took the mask off and I calmed down, I'm 42. I can't be mad anymore. I'm I'm getting soft in my old age. Yeah, you were soft before you hit 42. <laughs> So we will be reacting. Now, this is not a blind trailer reaction, but this is my first time watching it with the king. The I haven't light. seen it yet. You haven't? This is a fresh trailer reaction? Oh, oh, all right. I think you're going to get blown away. My expectations? Well, I, I can't give you rating. What's your expectations? I can give you rating at the end. Uh, I, anything that's not dealing with the Skywalker timeline, I am all for. This is... Uh, this is my one of my most anticipated projects of the year, honestly. Okay, so let's let's react the let's react the heck out of this trailer. Yeah. Last night, a Jedi was murdered. Did you see that the studio that brought you Mandalorian and or and or and Ahsoka uh, and Boba Fett? They didn't mention Boba Fett. <laughs> That's the I'm one like, they didn't I'm mention. Like, I like Boba Fett. <laughs> Where was Boba Fett? No, they didn't mention it. <laughs> the Jedi justify their galactic dominance in the name of peace. But that peace is a lie. What do you think of that? That sequence there. I thought it was pretty cool. Yes, I love the action. Um, I had a friend on the previous live stream that was saying at if you went to see the Phantom Menace, they showed five minutes of that fight sequence. It was pretty well uh choreography, oh. actual choreography was pretty good. Oh yeah, I got I have I have a source. <laughs> I don't trust your sources. Jedi are being hunted. She was my student. I trained her. Let me be the one to bring her in. I sense this is only a small part of a larger plan. Now, did, did, what did you think about that? The eyes going black. Have we seen that in Star Wars before? I, it's like I, war movie stuff. I don't think I've seen it before. I, no, I, I, is that a Sith power? Like... I don't know, but I anytime eyes go black in the movies, usually mean demon possession. Maybe yeah, I know this is like next level Sith stuff. Maybe it has something to do with the sisters and their powers and able to take over people's minds. Maybe. This this scene is the one that really struck me as like something. Okay, what is this? Is this? It's obviously not for like light side. Well, it is a ginger, so he has no soul. It's okay. This is what it is. It's he's just a ginger. <laughs> that's not my that's not my that's Kingdom of Nerds official statement that gingers are evil. And I didn't say evil, on, I just had no souls. No, have no souls. Uh, not a <laughs> Sith, not a Sith. It's a ginger. Okay, yes, ginger Sith. Is that why they replaced them all? And uh, oh, keep yeah. it moving, keep it moving. <laughs> Some sort of shift. To tip the scales. In four. It's time. Right around the corner. The past. Now, with these shots, uh, the one ring to roll them all looks like they're doing the fellowship there, walking. <laughs> but with these shots, does it is it movie quality to you? It seems movie quality to me. It doesn't seem Disney Plus quality. It seems movie quality. It Somebody seems should. fine to me. I see. I've I've heard people hit this apart, and it looks like um, sci-fi network series. I don't think so. It's ridiculous. Don't Come on. Well, what about this? No one is safe. Do you think I, we're gonna follow through with that uh, that tagline in the trailer? The, like, there's like because remember, we're dealing with the Disney Plus Star Wars. No one's ever really gone. Is is no one really? Is this a actually accurate? Or are they going to go there with the stakes here? Well, like, gotta, and that's kind of getting stale with everyone coming back. Well, you got to realize this is also an end of the High Republic era toward yeah. the end of it. So they can kill whoever they want. Well, I mean, but wouldn't that be something of a, 
like a little bit of a segue into D- Disney Star Wars is like that they're actually being high stakes that they stick to now. That'd be a difference in new new Star uh-huh. Wars if they do, if they with some of these characters in this and this Acolyte series that who's came back actually. You mean in Disney Star Wars? Yeah, everyone, everyone but Mace, Kylo. Well, if they if 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 Disney had its way, they would bring Kylo back, but I don't think uh, Adam I think Driver wants to come back. Ky- Kylo's um story ended; it was over. Okay. I don't think he's if back. if Disney Star Wars could bring him back, they would. They would. Well, when have Star he, Wars ever had been, high stakes? Because it it used to be when used to be. All right, let me move. move, move. <laughs> the star stormtroopers cannot hit a, a freaking side of a building. Come on, all right. I stay. Well, I me. I would like to follow through with the no one is safe. From the truth is not decided for you by an anonymous force. If you want to pull the thread and change everything, then pull it. Here we go. Look at this, Bruce. Look at this. Yes. What do you think? I think the helmet is cool. New villain. Yes. Do you, what is that? You see teeth? I see teeth. I see um little areas for eyes. If you look, I didn't see any of that. I didn't. I thought he might be blind. No, you don't blind see the, user. You don't see above this little um. Spaces, a space but I I don't know. Yeah, it's hard to tell. I don't yeah. think so. I think so. Okay. Well, what do you, you think? This is a cool entrance. Yeah, I think it's it's pretty cool. Hiding the shadows. Yeah. What are you? What are you? Ooh, look, look at that. Let me see that again. Oh, I'm trying to get. There's a better look. I don't think he has eyes, or I don't know if it's a he either. I don't. It could be a she. I don't know. That person, I, I if you see um, when when he when that person first appears, you can actually see this the openings on the sides of the helmet. Okay, I well, this it. is the this is the best look at the new villain. Um, do you think the acolyte, the the actress, is gonna st- is she gonna have a redemption arc? Do you want her to be redeemed, or do you want her to stay villainous? The the girl with the cool hair at the beginning that's throwing the shurikens at Carry On Moss's character. Um, not every not every character needs a redemption. Some people yeah, are just I'm evil. So- just die. Move on. Yeah, we only need to spend three episodes redeeming a character. So I'm sorry. I'm gonna. I I know I was pausing a lot. Let's play this. Yeah, you are again without without pausing. What are you? Nice. All right, Bruce. What do you think? It looks very interesting to me. Um, I'm not a diehard Star Wars fan by no means. I'm not going to sit there and tear list 125 Star Wars characters for two hours. But that's just me. Oh, <laughs> I would. I would if I was home. Love you, Brian. Oh. But that's all right. Brian doesn't watch. It looks fun to me. I record stuff. I will consume anything Star Wars. And base my opinion on once I see the. Well, if you're gonna give a rating project, out of ten, the the trailer. I give this trailer an eight because um, I'm interested to see some of this High Republic stuff that I've read in comics and live action. So I I give it a ten out of ten. Uh, it introduces another villain besides the main main villain. Um, it also says no one's safe. I hope they keep to that because I. I think that is where you get Star Wars to the next level. Like somewhere near Game of Thrones level where no one is really safe and you people actually characters actually stay dead. Well, there should be all, some high stakes. First of all, they have to people have to realize 
thought there has never been good writing in Star Wars up until Andor. Well, I think this might be it. Uh, everyone counts out Leslie Headland because of her work history. Not basing it on her actual... No, I'm not, not. I'm saying not her work. Her, her, they're doing it guilt by association. Not her actual work. Body of work. Body of work. And I haven't seen Russian Dolls, but she's very successful being a showrunner. Mm -hmm. And I think that you are actually going to finally get good writing in Star Wars with this. I at least think that. I could be wrong. You I hope know, I'm not wrong, but I think. Like I, I've been, like I, I said last night on MME. Um, I'm just glad to see different alien races and and see more Jedi. Mm -hmm. You know, this is probably going to have no more droids Jedi. in this. No cool droids in this, at least that we know of. Do we really need more droids? No. Wow. But I, you know, I had a. Um, I, I, I'm just tired. Yes, we, do. we do need new droids. After I saw Rebel Moon Part Two, and one of the best parts of it, Jimmy. Jimmy. Yes, we Jimmy. do need more. We do need more cool droids. Yeah, the droids aren't that cool. This, of course. <laughs> <laughs> that's the one thing that I think Zack Snyder did better than Disney Star Wars was the droids. Yes. Jimmy was really cool and intriguing, and I don't think there was enough of him, at least as until I see the director's cut or whatever. Yeah. So I've 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 seen people take on this trailer and they're very disingenuous. Um if you're a Star Wars fan, sci-fi fan, you should welcome different alien races and not look just to see yourself in these projects anymore. <laughs> and good and good quality content too. I agree. Yeah. Yes. All right. Well thank you for watching.